It's a new month, and you know what that means. It's time for a new mystery box. And I'm all about get And I'm all about giving the people what they want. <laughs> so stick around as we open a new box by Popmark, the Philosopher's Stone. Hey there everyone, my name's Perry and welcome to The Potter Attic. Well, we are here again today to do one more Pop Mart box and I can't tell you how excited I am to break into this thing because Pop Mart is slowly becoming one of my favorite companies for Harry Potter collectibles and I think that they've done some amazing boxes. If you're here, you've probably seen the other Pop Mart boxes I've done and the newest um, traveling to Hogwarts or heading to Hogwarts edition. Fantastic box. Cannot wait to see what they are going to do in the future. But without talking about this anymore, let's dive right into this box and take a look at what we've got in here. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, you guys, that I am going to get that hidden uh, that hidden character in this one because that one is a phenomenal little piece on um, on this set. It is actually Harry holding the um, the Philosopher's Stone standing in front of the mirror of the Iroset. So super excited. I really want that one in this box. But let's dive in and see what we've got here today. So far, out of all the Pop Mart boxes I've opened, I have not gotten a one of the hidden characters yet. So hopefully this one will maybe do us a little bit better than, than the boxes in the past. So we'll pull one from the middle here and let's dive right in. Guys, I don't know if any of you open these boxes, if this is something that you guys collect, but I absolutely love Pop Mart. I think that they do phenomenal, uh, phenomenal work. Um, I am a really big fan of, uh, of their characters and their products, and I cannot wait for the next box that they're going to put out. And we start off with Harry Potter and the Invisibility Cloak. So great little set. Uh, so way to start things off, I think. Yep, I thought there was another thing. Oh, and we've got some extras with this one, too. I thought it was just the base, but we've got the base, and it looks like... Harry gets to hold a little lantern. And I love, I'm not going to lie, I love when they do these little extra pieces um, that they add to theirs because it just gives some, some character and some flair that other series don't add to their, to their characters. Uh, I really love the added little touches they do. Let's take a look at this one. So you've got Harry holding his little dangling lantern here. Uh, wearing his invisibility cloak on his way to the restricted section or I mean maybe uh, to the to the hatch you know to, to go uh, check out um, Fluffy here it is I was drawing a blank there but I absolutely love this character the the look on his face the expression and what's really funny about their characters is I feel like that they started off real anime, right? The very first se series that they did was had a very strong anime look. This one, less anime. And I think that as they've gone on, they've gotten more and more away from that anime look that they gave to their characters, which, again, I, I get. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't think that um, anime is my thing. I don't know if it's your thing, but uh, I, I liked the first set. It wasn't my favorite, but I love the look of Harry on this particular one. So we're going to set Harry right back there, clear this stuff out of the way, and oh, oh, I forgot about the card. How could we forget about the little card that they give you? Harry. All right, and let's throw this stuff out of the way and dive right back in. We're going to go another one from the middle. And we'll see what we've got in store here. I am really hoping that we pull pull that that hidden one today. I would be really neat to uh, to actually finally get a hidden one out of this set. But either way, I'm just happy to to start getting these in my collection. Oh, so who do we have here, guys? Who do we have? We have got oh an, another Harry. I didn't realize. I actually didn't look at the box. 
Um, if you look, let's just pause for one quick second. If you look at the box here, we've got two different versions of Harry. It looks like we've got two different versions of Hermione. Two different versions of Ron. We've got a Draco, a um, Dumbledore, a Snape, a Hagrid, a Neville, and then the hidden version of Harry standing with the mirror of the air set. So, I mean, if you look at that, you can you can see. Um, so, I again, they hadn't caught on yet to what they're st now doing in the current boxes, and that is um, not duplicating characters. Uh, I really like that about the newest set they pushed out. I don't like um, when I mean, when there's so many great characters in a series, why duplicate any of them? You know, you've got so many options that you can pick and choose from so that you can always give an original character. There's great moments in the series where you can do um, different poses for those characters, but don't duplicate characters in a, in, a, in a box. I mean, just keep them all unique and different. So with this particular one, we've got Harry. And Harry's got a, a pair of slacks on with a with a short sleeve t shirt, and I mean he's he's got the the classic moment standing in the um, the castle or not the castle I'm sorry the um, the house on the on the uh, the lake you know where Hagrid breaks in and and gives him his little happy birthday cake and on the cake in true Harry Potter fashion it says happy birthday Harry just like Hagrid spelled it as well so I love this really really good character i love the different little touches they put in we'll keep those harrys apart and we will dive back in for number three guys so have you put any of these in your collection that's my question comment below i, I want to know do you have the philosopher's stone set do you have Chamber of Secrets. Do you have any of the other ones that I've got back there on my shelf? Do you have uh, the, you know, heading to Hogwarts? I mean, well, give me your thoughts, guys, because on these, I just got a peek of what this one is. On these, I absolutely love them. Uh, Funko is my my first, right? I've collected all of those. I've got a complete Funko collection behind me, and Pop Mart is is right behind them. I, I absolutely love Pop Mart. In fact, I think Pop Mart's a little bit more original than Funko. So, but um, I love love both though. And with this one, we've got Dumbledore. So Dumbledore is always tops in my in my world, guys. You know this. He's my favorite character in all the movies. Uh, I absolutely love all the different versions of him that they've put out. And I cannot wait for the the quote-unquote Gandalf slash Dumbledore version that's coming out by Iron Studios this year. I think that is phenomenal. And yes, he does have a resemblance to uh, to uh, Gandalf from uh, Lord of the Rings, but at the same time, it's definitely Dumbledore. He's looking a little bit more polished, a little slightly different, but robes, office the different um you know i mean the different elements that are in there with the sorting hat and his pensive i mean everything so i cannot wait for that one to come out so let's take a look at this one so you've got just a definitely unique looking dumbledore holding his cup you know beard just billowing down the front of his uh the front of his robes um, his hair, you know, on the back of, uh, of the robes just kind of draped across. I mean, he literally looks like a, just a giant beard um, there with a hat. But I absolutely love this one. So happy to add this one to my collection. I'm always looking for another good Dumbledore. And we will put him right here in the middle and move on to the next one. Oh, did I grab his card out? I think I did. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I did. Card's in. So let's pull one from the front row now. I really want that hidden one. I've got him in my cart on eBay so that if he doesn't if he doesn't appear in this, I know where I'm going right after this because I'm going to pick him up. I got to complete the set and that's a great one too. You you can't not have that particular one for for this for, for this series of characters. So, and we have got oh, we've got Neville. Little frozen Neville in here. I love that. It's a great moment in the first movie, you know, where they're going off to, to do, oh, wait, stop. See, and this is another thing. I am huge 
about little details. Little details mean the world to me. And um, they went and gave this a felt top so that it looks like he's standing on a rug. I love that. I mean, again, just he's in the Gryffindor common room. He's trying to stop Ron, Harry, and Hermione from, from getting into trouble and, lo and losing their house more points. And what does Hermione do? Well, you know, freezes him in his tracks. So, and I love that. This is a great piece. Very well done. Love the, the felt cover. But you've got Neville in his, in his little jammies sitting here, frozen stiff. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal, guys. I love that. That is a great one. I think... Oh, man, I don't know. It's hard to say that he's better than Dumbledore. I love the Dumbledore, but I love that one, and I really love the carpet. The felt carpet is is definitely something that I'm, I'm a huge fan of. So uh, let's go on to the next one. I know, guys, what are we? We're four in, and I am currently looking for that hidden one. I really want that hidden one bad. And my dog is currently running off with some of the boxes. That dull devil, I tell you. I can't keep him away from the garbage when I throw it down here. Uh, let's see, who do we got? We've got our very first Hermione. First Hermione. I love these. These, honestly guys, when I open one of these boxes, it's one of those weird things, and maybe you don't get this feeling, but I get this kind of euphoric um, kind of feeling over me when I open these boxes. I absolutely love them. It puts me in the best mood for the entire day after opening these. I have a smile on my face. I figure out where I'm going to put them in my collection, stage things the way I want them, and I, again, I'll come down here multiple times and, and kind of stare at them lovingly and just admire my uh, my new addition to my collection. Love it. So, Pop Mark, keep up the good work because I absolutely love these. Let's get her foot in the little peg here. Sit it on the peg. Oh, boy, that one's not easy to find. That is a really tough peg on that foot there. And oh, almost there we go. Got her. She's got the tiniest little feet. So, and so then you've got Hermione. Oh, oh, I missed it, guys. I missed it. She's also got, has a wand in here. Totally missed it because I was going to say this didn't look right. But she's got a little wand here. Let's get that in her hand. Oh, these are never fun to do. They're so difficult. And actually, that was not very bad. Not bad at all. So we've got Hermione in her classic Leviosa moment. So she's sitting here with her wand in her hand, her feather floating around her with her little, you know, like little swirl pattern showing the path of the, of the feather. I love it. I love her hair. I love her, her outfit and her little um, Gryffindor skirt. Yeah, she's a classic, classic addition that you you always want to include, and they always include her. I mean, she's the, the it's the triple threat: Ron, Harry, Hermione. You gotta have the trifecta in your collection. So whenever they do a run, so there's Hermione. Let's grab her card out, and let's move on to our next one, guys. Uh, let's pull from the back row. Let's see if we can get any luckier in the back row. I really want that hidden one. I want it so bad. I, I just want the satisfaction of getting a hidden character just one time. Just one time. I don't know. Oh, this. Did we get? Oh, oh, I was. They, they had me. They had me for a quick second. I felt this base, and it felt like the size of that mirror. I really thought we had it for a second. But we've got a great Snape. Oh, you guys, you got to see this one. This is a great one. So you've got Snape sitting on the bench in the bleachers with his robe on fire. You know that moment. You know the moment where uh, Hermione catches his robe on fire because she thinks that he's trying to cast a spell on Harry. So I love this. And he's got his little scowl and his little fingerless gloves. I love this. This one is fantastic. They've done such a great job. I wish that Funko would do something. I mean, I know that they do, like... 
every for the anniversary of each movie they've released like a series you know we had the philosopher's stone series and we had the chamber of secrets series and you know i mean but they released ones that were a few that were towards the series and then a few that were just new additions to the funko line I wish that they would do these little moments like this, you know, where you know exactly when you look at it where you're, what movie you're talking about. I mean, it's very clear to me that these are all moments from the Philosopher's Stone. So, absolutely love it. I'm getting off my soapbox here, guys, so we can move on because I want that hidden character. I want to see if we got it. I'm looking forward to hopefully adding that one to my collection. Either way, i got to go to eBay. You know, I'm going to have to go to eBay to pick up that that missing one. So it's going to either be, you know, a common missing one, or I'm not a common one, a common character um, that I'm missing, or it's going to be the hidden one that I'm missing. So either way, I'm picking up one today. eBay, you will be getting some business from me, so we, we shall see. And we've got our first Ron. Ron Weasley, everybody. So... You've got you to gotta have him. And this is, oh, 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 yes. Again, they did that little extra step. And you've got Ron holding the chess piece standing on a chess square. I love this. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you've, he's got his little flannel shirt on, holding the chess piece. I mean... Well done, guys. Well done. I mean, I love that because each one of these has had a slightly different base. I mean, you've got three that are on wood, one that's on stone, one that looks like it's on slate. You've got him on the chess chessboard and then Neville on the rug. I love it. Love it. Just switching it up. Little details, guys. I'm telling you, it's what sets pieces apart from others. It's the reason why I love the... Alohomora or Magical Keys, whatever they want to go by. I, the details, the little details that they pour into those keys, absolutely stunning. I love them. I will be a subscriber for life because I've got to have those keys. I love seeing what they sneak in and they surprise me all the time. All the time. So, moving on. It's not, we don't have them. Not in this one. Not in this one. But who do we have? We have another Harry. Another Harry moment, and this one is Harry from the box. We've got the Harry riding his broom, chasing the winged key so that they can move on to the, the next part of their journey. And I love this. I love the, the little uh, like flourish of keys that's underneath him, uh, like wrapping around the tip of his broom. I love the uh, his his hand grasping the the key with the wings as he's kind of got a couple other ones nipping at his legs. I love it. Now, I mean here, so here we've got three Harrys, right? We've got three Harrys, and our mystery one's a Harry. So I mean, so we've got four Harrys to complete this box set. You see where I'm coming from, guys, right? I mean, Pop Mart, you you gotta see this. There's so many amazing characters that you could give us from the the first movie that there's no reason that you got to give us four. I mean, there. I, trust me, I'm not upset with any of the three I have, and I know I won't be upset with the uh, the the other one standing by the the mirror of air said. But at the same time, give us some variety. Give us some of the other guys, the other figures, the, the other you know characters, teachers, whatever that are from the movies, because there are plenty of great moments that you can incorporate with these other people. So. Moving on to our box number, what is that? This is box number nine. Box number nine, guys. And let's see who we've got in here. I really want that character, guys. But nope, nope, not in this one. Oh, but this one's cool. What is, we got a little suitcase with this one. And this one is Hermione. So we've got another Hermione. And let's open this one up and get her all staged. I'm guessing that okay so it's just like basically like she's dragging her suitcase in this particular one so all right and let's pop her on her stand i love that i love that little foot there and then let's give her her suitcase in her hand and see i need it again the little things like this you got this little tiny suitcase in her hand that she's 
swinging around. I love this. So you've got Hermione, you know, in her in her robe with her Gryffindor scarf tied around her neck, just kind of swinging her little suitcase um, as as she's on her way to Hogwarts. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think that is extremely well done. Let's slide Ron over there. Put Hermione here. Let's grab her card out. Move all this nonsense. And let's move on to box number 10. Box number 10. I don't know, guys. I am not feeling the love right now, Pop Mart. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. I don't I don't understand what I have to do to get one of those boxes, you know? Um, I'm just not that guy. I'm not the lucky guy that ends up in getting those those boxes. You know, but it's okay. Like I said, these are still so fun to open. I couldn't imagine buying them one at a time, though, because the frustration of of the duplicates would really get to me. So if you're going to do this, guys, it definitely makes more sense to to buy a box. It really does. Financially, I mean, you go, oh, Perry, that's you know too much money. But I mean, if you're going to buy one and then you're going to end up going and buying four, five, six more eventually. I mean, you're going to save money by, by not getting any duplicates. It's definitely the better way to go. That's a pro, pro collector tip, people. Come on. I'm just trying to help you. So in this particular one, oh, this is a great one. Oh, yes. All right, guys. So we have got Draco Malfoy. And in this particular one, we've got Draco Malfoy holding the Remember All. I love it. Love it. He's got his broom in one hand, remember all in the other hand, and let's put his little foot on this post. There we go. And yes, look at look at that. So he's standing on grass, which I absolutely love. They gave you another base plate that's different, holding the Neville's little ball there. I mean, let, you know, time you could see the taunting little look in his face, like, come and get it, you know, and, and he's got his broom in the other hand. I love this one. This is a really good one. Great addition. Let me turn him just a little bit more this way. Great addition to, to this particular set. And we'll pop him over there. Let's grab his card as well. And let's get this stuff out of the way. All right, guys. Two left. Two left. And I'm not feeling very confident that we're going to get that mystery one. So I think we know where I'm going to be today. Somebody's going to be getting my business for sure. And we are, let's see, down. So we're still missing. We're missing a Hagrid for sure. And we're missing a Ron. So who do we have here? We've got our second Ron. So second Ron. And I love this one. They did the same thing again. I love it because Ron is in the Gryffindor common room in this one. Leaning on, so let's take a look at this. You got the little felt square of the carpet from the uh, from the Gryffindor common room, but then you've got Ron, and he's got his pajama bottoms on with his little Ron sweater. You know, I mean, this is classic, you know, Christmas day, and he's got his every flavor beans in his hand, leaning on the the couch. I love this one. So great. This is absolutely phenomenal. I love the touch of the carpet again, and Ron's little smirk on his face as he's eating his his uh, beans. I love it. Love it. And this one's really awkward to, to sit up because he's a little heavier than the couch itself, but there's no real foot peg for that one, so you got to be careful with that one. He's You see him? He's a little top heavy, so he wants to lean forward on those feet and tip the chair, so... Just be careful when you're moving that one around. But there's Ron's card. And we are on to our very last one, guys. Very last one. Come on. Come on. You can do this. I know you can be... You can give me one. Just give me one. In all honesty. All right? In all honesty. If I'm going to get one of the hidden characters, I'm okay with going and trying to get this one off of eBay. I really want the hidden character for the Chamber of Secrets box, which is super cool, super cool. I, it is basically Tom Riddle coming out of the, the, the book, you know, the Riddle Diary. I love that one. That is one of my favorites out of all of them. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. So I'm really hoping I've got that box sitting over there. That's a box we're going to have to wait a little bit for because... 
It won't be until May that I do that one, but um, but it's coming, it's coming, and I'm gonna do that one, and I'm hoping for the you know for the best on that one, hoping that I can actually get Tom Riddle out, out of that one. So, and our very last one, we have got Hagrid, and I am not mad at all getting another Hagrid because Hagrid is absolutely amazing, and Hagrid is so big, he's so bulky. I mean, of course, it's Hagrid, right? He has to be, but. This little base is almost pointless because there's no foot peg on it, but um, but let's take a look at Hagrid. So you've got Hagrid in his little apron with his oven mitts on, holding the, the cracked dragon egg, just waiting for Nor Norbit to uh, to hatch out of it. I love this one. Love the the detail of his just his big frumpy pants, you know, the the, the apron tied around him. I mean, I love it. Love it, guys. I cannot say that enough. Hagrid is awesome. I, oh, man. So we come down to the end of this video, and I'm in quite a little pickle here because picking the top one out of all of these is not easy. I mean, there is some great ones here, guys. I mean, just looking at all these characters... Who's your favorite? Who, who's yours? If I'm going to wand to the head, all right? I mean, if, if I had to pick one of all of these, I'm going to have to go with, oh gosh, I hate to be a broken record, but I love Dumbledore. I love Dumbledore and I love that one, but oh man, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. I'm going to say, I, I'm going to give you my top three. How about that? I can't pick a top one. It's too hard. I'm going to say Hagrid, Dumbledore, and mm, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Draco. I really like that Draco standing on the grass, holding the remember all. I mean, I, I just... I, I mean, he got his broom in his other hand, a little scowl on his face. I, I love him. So I think that those are my three. So you guys give me your opinion. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, who's who's your favorite? Which, which one of these is uh, one that you would definitely have to have in your collection? Will you add these to your collection? Will you, you know, pick up a box? Will you pick up one? Let me know. I mean, let me know down below, guys, because I'm curious, because I love these. I absolutely love these. I don't know how it took me so long to find out about these, but I'm glad that I have them, and I'm going to keep adding them back there on my shelves. I will find places for these because they are they're amazing. I, I love them. So, um, But we're to that point in the video, guys. I mean, if you've made it this far and you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe. Click that subscribe button because I have got a ton of great stuff in store this year. I'm getting ready to make... Um, a sizable purchase that'll give me some more stuff to, um, to to share with you guys. Some stuff that I've been holding off adding to my collection, but I can't wait any longer. I'm just nervous that some of this stuff is going to be discontinued and then I'm going to pay triple down the road just to put it in my collection. So I don't want to wait and I'm going to pick those things up. Um, so please subscribe. Click that bell notification. I am trying to push out more and more content all the time. I push out sporadic shorts. Um, I'm not going to say they're daily because they're not. Um, whenever I've got a good one that I think is more suited for YouTube, I post it here. Um, I also post you know, videos every Tuesday and every Friday. So click that bell notification so that you know when something new comes out. And then um, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like the video, that you um, you got something out of this, because that means the absolute world to me. I love my my addiction. I love my collection, but I love sharing it with you guys, and I really hope you enjoy sharing it and sharing it with me. So, um, and then last but not least, Instagram. Check me out on Instagram. If you like what you see here, I do short, fun little things on Instagram. I try and keep it different from this and uh, and do, you know, just little things. Maybe it'll make you laugh, make you smile, make, I mean, get you, get some kind of emotion. Some are a little creepy, I, I will say. You know, I've done a couple that are creepy with Voldemort and, and the Dementor, stuff like that. But that's what I'm looking for. I just want to get that gut reaction. So, and Instagram is a great place for that. So, um... But 
As always, guys, I thank you so much for coming and spending a little time with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, all you wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical.